It's time for your daily dose of Dragon Feather. Hey, this is Dragon Feather, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be on a question that I received on Tumblr, and um, I receive a lot of questions from you guys on Tumblr, and some of them are very, very good questions, and I feel like are so good that I can't even like type out a legitimate answer for you guys. I'd rather just answer you in a video. So for those of you guys who have been asking me these questions, I wanted to start kind of a series, kind of like a Dear Dragon Feather series on um, answering your guys' questions because some of these are really good and I feel like answering them will help a lot of people out. So today's topic is on a question by Sapphire Koala and she asked, Hey Dragon Feather, lately I've been having trouble staying motivated when it comes to my practice. I know this is the right path for me and everything, but it's become really hard to stick with it lately. Do you have any advice to help me be motivated again? This question caught my attention because I myself have been struggling with my practice. Yes, believe it or not, I have been having some issues and haven't necessarily been sticking to my schedule that I usually do. I usually have a daily devotional that I dedicate twice a day to my practice and certain things in my life that I've gone through recently have made it hard for me to stay on focus and to stay on track. And that's fine, life happens, uh, but it's good to remind yourself who you are and why you do this and what it means to you because at the end of the day, you know, sometimes it's what keeps you sane. However, uh, one of the main things that I do when I need to stay on my path and be reminded of my path is I talk to people online or my friends in real life um, who practice this path and kind of remind myself why I do this. Recently I asked my dear friend Jeremy Pagan 94 who's on my collab channel and has his own YouTube channel, um, about what to do. The same exact question, what do you do when you get lost and when you get you know, off track, and he could not have given me a better answer. His answer was, well, when you, when you have a problem, you solve it through ritual. That's what it is. It's a way of life. It's not just a hobby. It's not just something that you do. It's the way you are, and it's the way that you live your life. And when you remember it that way, like when you're having a hard time struggling, when you have, you know, family drama, when you have this and this and that or whatever, and you're going through maybe the loss of a loved one, sit down, cast your circle, call upon your deities and your spiritual guardians and ask them for help. That's how it works. And that's what it's all about. Contact the spirits and contact the gods and the goddesses and the, and the symbols or the deities that symbolize life and this world to you and ask them for help. And that really spoke to me and really helped me put it into perspective just how important this part of my life is and just how much I adore this practice. Another thing that I do is I look up, I look up the basics again. As silly as that sounds, I grab some of my old books and read through them. Like some of my favorite books I'll read through, just the beginning stuff, just for beginner stuff, even though I've been practicing for years. Like I'll go on YouTube and look up videos on like, Wicca for beginners or what is this like how to practice witchcraft and like watch those videos again because those were the videos that inspired me when I was younger and when I was a first beginning blooming little witchy um, it was what inspired me to practice it was what inspired me to take this journey and when I watch them now it reminds me of how far I've come and there's no reason to stop now and sometimes when you're feeling low and you practice and you're like what do I do now like what do I do next you know, look up online a spell. Maybe it's something that you've never cast before, maybe it's something that you've never really thought about casting before, but look up a spell and cast a spell and remind yourself why you do this and plan out a ritual. Maybe it's gonna be a ritual months in advance, but plan it out, really put effort into it and remind yourself that no matter what happens in your life, that your practice is always gonna be there and nobody can take that away from you. I have heard very horrible stories from some of you guys that your parents have burned your books and they've disowned you and they've kicked you out of the house for it and all of that and you know, that's awful, and I wish that that never happened to anybody, but it does, and unfortunately, that's life. And even when stuff like that happens, even when people tell you you can't practice, including your parents, no one can take who you are away from you. No one can ever do that to you. And 
even if you have to meditate in the fucking shower to practice, to stay connected to who you feel like you are, then that's what you need to do for yourself. If you have these beautiful altars and you never use them, ask yourself why. And if you want to use them because you created them for that reason, then do it. Then do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true, you know? Sometimes it gets really rough, especially when we have terrible, terrible things that happen to us and just beat us down constantly and nearly kill us, you know, be it emotionally or otherwise. Like, sometimes it's hard to keep in perspective of how to live your life and how, how you chose to live your life and how you chose to go about your life. And I know, I know it's hard. I know it's hard because I've been there and I've struggled and there's been months at a time where I've been so low that I haven't even thought about my practice. And in those moments when I don't practice and when I don't think about it and even when I'm discouraged and I don't feel like doing it and I choose not to, I feel worse and I feel even more shitty and I feel even more discouraged and I feel even more lost. But even when I'm struggling and I don't know how to practice and I'm feeling discouraged and I don't know what to do, even if I'm just like fuck it and I sit down and I meditate for 10 minutes with a goal in mind or with an inspirational quote in mind or with a problem in mind that I want to solve, I feel better and I feel more myself and that's how I stay on track with my practice so I hope that this helped you Sapphire um, please for any of you guys who have any more questions feel free to ask me on my tumblr the links will be down below um, if you want me to answer it more in a video make sure to write dear dragon feather so I know what you want me to address it or how you want me to address your question but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any more questions or comments please leave them down below and let me know but until next time stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings blessed be and bye we'll see you back next time